Oh shit. Okay, here. Let's take this pill. Now I'm pissed. <laughs> okay, you know what? We're not fucking around anymore. <laughs> take a beer. Oh, this is insane. Oh, okay. Okay. Did, are all these other zombies supposed to be here? Because if they are, Ramsey, what the actual f***, dude? Well, hell's bills. I think I'll go ahead and start the episode here. I wasn't planning on it, but oh my God. Uh, I came down the tower here after doing stuff up above and noticed there was some zombies out here and apparently a boss zombie. And looks like my spikes uh, actually did some work for us. So that's good. So anyway, yeah. Welcome everybody back to the purge rebirth. I am the paired OG and uh yeah so we just got this generic perk book you can use this book to craft any kind of perk book um all right let's look at the perks first i was about ready to go out and, and mine some lead by the way um yeah we're level 19 um several of you guys have been mentioning that as soon as i hit 20 i can do the quest for the distiller um and absolutely planning on doing that when we do hit level 20 but um all this stuff i'm gonna sell but let's take a look at this so i'm kind of thinking it might be nice to do charismatic nature so that we can oh shit we're not we're not actually can we can we take this now though or do we have to first hit 100 percent level one yeah i think we have to hit level one right but then we can hire a survivor along with our dog. Um, so that could be good. That could be really good, actually. We're almost we're almost there. Um, how do we do charismatic nature? I mean, how do we level charismatic nature? I don't remember. I, I think doing jobs is part of that, but we can't do jobs. Hmm. Well, what we've obviously been leveling. I just don't remember exactly. Does it tell us here how to level it? Not really. Okay. Um. This is this is kind of no. This is completely worthless for the purge because we can't even do trader jobs. That's something, Ramsey, you might, uh, if you're watching this video, you might consider changing for the purge at some point. And maybe you already have that on the to-do list. I don't know. But anyway, uh, so we're at like level three for dexterity. We're level two for constitution. A pack mule level one will give us three more slots. But once you get to three, then you get some additional uh, perks from pack mule. So it's re actually very good in rebirth. Um, healing factor. That's, that's all pretty good stuff too. I haven't paid really close attention to these yet because we just haven't been, well, I shouldn't say we haven't been able, we have, but you know, it's very expensive to buy the books for these. What I'm thinking though, is I wouldn't mind having another uh survivor you know to help us out but i don't know if i can take that until we actually hit level one so here's what we're going to do we're going to make this uh turn this into a charisma book 
And if we can't use it, we'll just sit on it until we do get uh, level one in charisma. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, so we want charismatic nature, craft. That is an incredibly valuable thing to find, man. It's the first time I've seen one of those too. Okay, so if I, what happens if I just try and read it? Yeah, see, it won't let me do it. Okay, no problem. That is absolutely fine. We'll just wait until we hit level one and then we'll we'll take it at that point. It's a beautiful thing. All right, let's do some 762 crafting here. And um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, we need to keep working on our horde base here. And I need, before we can do that though, I need more resources. So I was actually planning on getting on, mining some lead, and then getting some other resources ready before I started the recording, but that was a pretty damned amazing thing that happened right at the beginning there. So I thought, well, let that, let's go ahead and start it at that point. Uh, oh man, I got all this shit in here too. Okay, it's been a couple days since I've played. Oh, and by the way, on that note, um, let's grab all of this. I am now uh, completely caught up to you guys. Or maybe I should say you're caught up to me on... Yeah, we got some damage here. On the episodes, right? I, I, I was quite a few episodes ahead of you, and then I stopped recording these episodes and started the normal Rebirth playthrough. But now we're all caught up. So what that means is I probably will not have one episode of The Purge and one episode of Rebirth every single day. Um, you know, I'm going to have to start kind of switching back and forth between the two. Uh, plus, I also have my vanilla 7-day series going too, which is also almost caught up. Um, and I'm planning on continuing that for a little bit longer too. So you're going to start to see, you know, you're not going to see like two or three separate episodes from me every single day moving forward. Um, I do, you know, have a real job <laughs> in real life too, and you know, uh, family and all that sort of thing. So, I, you know, I, I just live with my wife because our kids are grown up. But still, you know, I got to make time for family and all that. And, and so, yeah, uh, you most likely you will see at least one episode a day for me, whether it's Purge or regular Rebirth or regular Vanilla. But um, again, don't expect like you know three a day like you you've been you know you've had recently. Just uh, the only reason. I did that, of course, again, is because, you know, I was uh, way ahead. Okay, so enough said about that. Let's um, uh, let's go to here and make these into 762s. And then uh, we'll go down below here and put uh, this book in... We'll put it in here. In fact, let's also... Move all the other books into this chest too, just so they're all kind of together there. Um, all right, and then we just have those extra propane tanks there. Uh, oh, we we have ex we got some extra cement, right? We got that from the hardware store. That's right. So that we should be uh, putting into the cement mixer, and I guess we'll put that in there. Uh, that goes into the uh, up above and so all of these things here we will sell okay all right so we'll put you, uh no put you guys in here put you in here and then let's make some more concrete mix and what are we what are we short on oh sand okay so we still even still have more cement there. So sand we can make in the the shredder. I would I'd really like to have a shredder here at the base, but I haven't found one out in the world yet. That we need to make from small stones. Or you know what we could do? I I was looking at something else too. I can, I can actually make a chemistry station. I was assuming we had, you know, to have like um that we had to unlock it? Well, no. Hold on. I take that back. I need a repairable one first, so I can't. Okay, so I did assume correctly on that after all. Unless we do happen to find a repairable one out in the world. Um, But 
I guess what I was going to point out, though, is it doesn't actually require a, a beaker, you know, which I assumed that it did because, of course, it does in vanilla. Right. Okay. So let's run down to the trader. And what we'll do is we'll sell a few of these things and exchange the ammo. So I was given some, some tips about the distiller. Um, I've been told a couple of different times, actually, that the distiller is can spawn in the same places that you would find cement mixers. Which is something I never would have associated <laughs> in my mind if somebody hadn't told me that. Because, you know, distiller or cement mixer? Uh, oh shit! How the fuck did you get in here? Well, I guess he brought lunch to us. So, anyway, um... And then another suggestion was to look in bars, um, you know, because distilling whiskey, stuff like that. So that, that kind of made sense, too. So we need to be on the lookout for those sorts of things. Oh, shit, I got a bunch of sand here. That's a good thing, because guess who forgot to bring their small stones with them? Son of a beech nut. Let's go over here, and we will trade with uh, Briston. Uh, yeah, trade ammo. 41, nice. And then we'll sell a couple things to him. Don't need any of this stuff here. Yeah, that, uh, we're up at 61, 64. How much do these sell for? Yeah, it's a pretty decent chunk of change, but I think I'm gonna actually keep those. Oh, right, I gotta, <laughs> I say this every time, I gotta make some fucking block bits. I can't believe myself, man. All right, anyway, let's, uh, oh no. Actually, we wanna go back and talk to Briston. Um, all right, so let's take a look at his inventory. I want to. I'm gonna buy a book here. We just gotta figure. I just gotta figure out which one is the best one for us to get at this point in time. So we can't get anything for strength. We're only at 88 percent. We could get a dexterity, a constitution, or an intelligence. All right, lucky looter, lucky looter. Perk books can be purchased or found in event loot crates. Slim chance. 5% loot bonus. Nah. Physician is really good. I've got that on the normal rebirth playthrough. If, for no other reason, splints and casts cure sprains instantly. That would not be a bad one to get. Not in the least. Treasure hunter. Uh, I, don't have, I don't think I've even done a treasure yet. Um, here on, on Rebirth. Have I? If I have, I've only done it like once, man. I don't even remember. So I think Physician would be our best bet if we went Intellect. If we went Constitution. You know, food is a constant pain in the ass. Um, chance of dysentery is reduced. Buffs from consumables are 5% longer. 2.5% less food water loss from exertion. And we can hold our breath. Big whoopee on that. I mean, Iron Gut is good if you, you know, if you get it all the way up, but the early stages of it are kind of lackluster. I know you got to start somewhere, right? What does this do? Um, gain additional life every two minutes. Criticals heal 20% faster. Infections, radiation, poisoning, uh, oh, spread 20% slower. That's actually really good. Unlock the quick heal shortcut. The quick heal shortcut. What is that? Is that like an insta heal with a bandage or something? Oh yeah, it's just this is the next one. Quick heal can use bandages, first aid bandages, aloe cream, and honey. Quick heal can extinguish fire using boiled or distilled water. That's pretty damned useful, man. Actually, very useful. Okay, so healing factor. What about pack meal again? I mean, here again, we got to take the first two to get to three before we really start getting, you know, getting the into the good part of it. But Encumbrance is also always a pain in the ass. As much as I like parkour, we also have a lot of stamina issues. So this will be stamina regens by 5%, and we can walk faster. What what does parkour 1 give us? Reduce stamina cost of jumping and jump 10% higher. Okay. Both are good, but... I think I'm kind of favoring healing factor right now just because that 
insta heal, you know, that quick heal thing is pretty damn good, man. Could really come in handy. Um, or physician. I have this, like I said, um, in in the normal playthrough, and it's it's super useful. All right, which one's more expensive, of the physician book or the healing factor book? Okay, physician is four thousand fifty. Healing fact. Oh, they're both the same price. Okay. I'm going to go with the healing factor. It's a done deal. That that insta heal thing or quick heal is I I just I can't pass that up. All right, there we go. So now we can press the into key and that will uh use whatever i guess i don't know how it chooses between a bandage or a first aid bandage maybe it you know picks the one that's the strongest maybe i don't know and also instantly being able to extinguish fire is going to be helpful too okay so that leaves us with 2100 cash um What's Pack Mule? Pack Mule is 2700 So we could maybe think about getting that um, next. I, I mean, I don't want to exhaust all my cash, and we'd have to raise a little bit more first. That's not difficult to do. But the other nice thing is, now that we have Healing Factor, we'll, we actually will start to heal over time, because I don't think we healed over time at all before. Um... Let's look at that again. Yeah, gain an additional one life every two minutes. <laughs> okay, that's not going to happen very quick, but hey, it's better than a kick of the nuts, right? Of course, most things are. Uh, all right. Um, I guess, yeah, we don't really have anything we need from you at the moment. It's the, the hunt. Which one is the one we need to buy? Yeah, this one, Hazard. So we're going to need $2,700 for that. Actually, we probably should save our money for this next. And I don't even know what happens in that mission. That's going to be a completely new surprise to me. All right, ladies and gents. Um, what I want to do is... Um, trying to decide if I want to go gather resources for, for a while. Um, we just got a big stutter. I wonder if a horde's coming in. Or if I want to go see if we can find a construction site. Because if we can find the distiller, that'll save us 2700 bucks, And we'll get it sooner than level 20. So, yeah. Why don't, why don't we do that? Why don't we go drop this stuff off and go see if we can find a construction site and find a distiller. And then I'll, you know, I'll do more resource gathering and that sort of thing off camera another question that's come up a few times in the comments is how in the hell am i gonna clear 542 <laughs> um purges in the forest and i don't know the answer to that guys what i'm here's what i think i'm gonna do on that point um yeah i'm gonna have to get some more spikes up too i think what i'm gonna do is i'm going to just keep at it and, and until I get to a point where I feel like it's just becoming too tedious, um, both for you guys to watch, but also for, you know, just for me to do, right? And then at that point, I think we'll go ahead and spawn in the desert mod that lets us go to the desert and just move on. Um, and I even, you know, Ramsey even suggested that too himself so i think that's probably what we'll end up doing but we'll see i mean if i feel like we're it's entertaining we're making progress and we have a, a decent shot at actually clearing that many we'll keep going with it okay but i i just can't give you a definitive answer on that yet so i guess the the answer right now is you know wait and see right okay so we are looking for a construction site oh by the way i did also learn 
from a comment from my normal Rebirth series that all these little Quonset Hut things here have a shit ton of crop plots in them. I guess these are mushroom farms. So, yeah, see, you can see them inside there. Uh, but they do have Zoms too. But I don't want to focus right now on farming. That That is on the to-do list for sure. So let's go see if we can find a construction site. I haven't really paid attention to construction sites, even though I've been through this city quite a bit. Of course, we haven't uncovered the entire city. We still got, you know, areas over here to God, this place is big. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so let's uh, start looking around and see if we can find that. There's a duffel bag right there. Nice. Take that. All of these thingies here that this tree is in, those are all farm plots that we can harvest and use. So really nice. Have we checked this police car? We have not. Nice. Look at all that stuff. It's a beautiful thing. What? What was that? Oh, that was me talking to my invisible dog. You guys said that it's the occlusion settings that causes that. But, you know, now that I know what it is, it's not a big deal. I think we'll just keep it on and that way Nick can be a ghost dog if he wants to be. Joe Bros. Okay, Joe Bros. That's construction. Check this. We'll loot this so we can sell it. Iron? Whatever the fuck that is. What is that stuff? Hydrochloric acid. Okay. We won't be drinking that. Hey, there's some dog food. We can make Purina tamale hash stuff. This is a... Oh, right. The post office. Yeah, no, let's not do a purge right now. I know we need... We have so many purges to do that... <laughs> I'm not even going to worry about it, man. We'll, we'll get to him when we get to him. That That's not entirely true. I, I need to be intentional if we're going to even have a chance of clearing all these purges. But I think a distiller is a higher priority. Did we check this car? Yeah, we did. Okay. What about this? Okay, we'll grab that. Yeah, we got a Joe Bros. That's probably a tier four. So that is going to be fun. But we don't necessarily have to do the whole thing either. What's it say? Uh, mom, no, not Mama Pizza. Joe Bro. Hmm. What does it activate? It keeps saying Mama's Pizza. Uh, that's the radio station. Okay. You know, we probably have a decent chance of finding a, a grinder in here, too. Oh, okay. That's why it kept saying Mama's Pizza, because there's Mama's Pizza. Gotcha. All right. That door's locked. How are we supposed to get into this place um let's go back over here i mean obviously we can break in right but how are we supposed to get in there's a ladder right there all right um let's just break it i guess Any bad bads in there? Oh shit. Can you please make a little noise? Oh, this isn't good. Actually, this is not good at all. Holy shit.
Let's press end. <laughs> Look at that. Insta heal. Well, actually, I guess it's not insta heal. It's just insta apply whatever you have. Gotcha. Okay. Um, we should pick both of these things up and sell them. Well, not if they're broken. I'm going to pick the desk up. Desks sell for $71. Make you holla. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, man, those assholes didn't make a single noise. It still doesn't tell us what the purge level of this place is. That is weird. Maybe we have to get further up into it. Um, what does this give us? Small stone, wood, that sort of thing. Okay. All right, Nick, you're on, yeah, you're on attack mode. Okay, we got some pears. We'll probably grab some lockers for the, for the base at some point. Door's locked. Is this a... Is that a zombie closet? Oh, I think it was. Hey, well, we just hit level 20. And we got another ascension. It's a feral crawler. Okay, well, now the question is... Do we go up there still? Or do we go sell some stuff, get some money? Well, okay, here. We're we're in here now. Let's just I, I still would like to know what the level of this place actually is. It's not telling me, it's just telling me Big Mama's. Unless it's part of Oh, I wonder if it's just all part of the Big Mama experience. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. The Big Mama experience. Is there anything in here? This is usually a zombie closet. Oh, right. Okay. It was that that deal. All right. Definitely want the cement. All right. Let's go up. Um... Let's take another bandage. Uh, we're gonna have to. We gotta repair some of our armor too. Zombo in that closet, maybe. There's two of them. This is not, uh, this is not the normal Joe Bros. Um, is this how it is in 1.1 vanilla? Because I haven't even been in a Joe Bros in 1.1 vanilla. Ooh, look at that. Um, she's not feral, so let's just melee. Okay, no zombie in there. There's a workbench. 
Let's grab this. We, we can use it for farming. We we must have looted that. Okay, I already have like two extra workbenches back at the base that I haven't even, you know, assembled, so I don't think we need another one of those. Oh, God. Dude, what the hell? Where did he come from? Oh, he came from up above. Okay. I mean, this that floor right up there. Okay, let's keep moving up here. If nothing else, man. We're going to pull a lot of cement out of this place. That's a good thing. Oh, shit. I knew something was going to happen. I just felt it in my bones. Yeah, this is great, man. I'm, again, I'm glad we came here just for the cement alone. I love it. Okay. Now, oh, there's a, well, there's a cement mixer. We could actually use another one of those. Okay, there's Larry the Lumberjack over there. And who knows what else is up here. Oh, you are. Okay, check this. There's some more headphones. Okay, yeah, let's definitely grab this so we, we can get two going. We will take that. Unfortunately, it's not a distiller, though. It's okay. Let's grab this. All right, Nick. Need your help, buddy. Oh, he's already loaded. Well, he took a couple more things. Okay. If we get too encumbered, I'll just drop a few things off in a drop chest. Uh, he's feral. Okay. <laughs> nice one, Nick. What the fuck's happening? Nick, you can climb ladders? I knew you were a talented dog, but my goodness, that's amazing. Oh, we're not done yet. Probably coming down from up above, maybe? Where are you at? I don't know. Let's loot this stuff.
Okay, I'll tell you what. I think we need to do. I think we need to go back down and drop some stuff off before we proceed, because I can barely move now. Okay. So, uh, the, there's a light over here. Is this something we can do that with? Oh, uh, there's also a pipe here. I know we're supposed to parkour around that way, but I'm not in the mood for a broken leg right now. Where's the loot? Um, where's all the bad bats? Did they already drop down and we fought them earlier? Uh, I'm guessing that's probably the case. And unfortunately, there is no distiller up here. That's a bummer. But we are level 20 now. Okay, let's go over here. Just wondering if there's a reason. Uh, there's probably something up in that cabin there. But let's loot this stuff. Okay, some weapon parts and mods. Open this. Okay, we're just going to sell the bicycle frames. More building stuff. Okay, more bicycle stuff. Let's put these to work for us. I always press the wrong fucking button first on this. Oh fuck! <laughs> We started on fire! <laughs> oh no! Oh man, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. But, I mean, the concrete's not gonna burn. So I guess we just have to wait for it to burn out that plywood. Oh, that's ridiculous, man. Here, actually, are we supposed to parkour up here for some reason? Yikes. I don't want a broken leg. Uh, there is a... Something up there. Looks like maybe just a... There's a, a bag there, too. Oh, that's... That's kind of funny. <laughs> it just didn't really occur to me, man. Okay. OG. Explosives in Rebirth the Purge set things on fire. At least with the settings I have. All right, let's grab another one of these. I wonder if... Hmm, I wonder if we'll lose that chest, though. Here, let's, let's try something. Let's break this wood out. I'm just thinking if, you know, if the fire eventually breaks these blocks... Uh, it could fall and then we would lose it, right? That didn't... I don't want to catch myself on fire. I was going to say that didn't uh, completely open it, did it? I wouldn't think so. Yeah, I, I'm, I can't get to that without burning myself. Oh, that sucks, man. May, I mean, maybe it'll stay there. I don't know. Okay, we do have murky water, but I don't think End will uh, douse us with that. We have to have boiled water or distilled water, from what the description said. Okay. Well, it's probably not worth getting caught on fire over. 
Maybe it is. I don't know. Let's get the rest of this stuff. Oh, it is still there. Okay. And it doesn't look like the fire is going to burn the cardboard boxes. Go figure. So, we, yeah, we should still be able to get to that then. Nice. Let's just... Those will give us pipes. I don't need another tool chest. Oh, we can't... Ooh. How are we supposed to get up there? Maybe jump... I guess we're supposed to jump across over that way. Because I just realized that ladder is broken, so we can't just climb the ladder all the way up. Um, let me see if I can get around to this side. Oh, there we go. Oh, it did unlock it. All right, nice. Uh, do we have a stoke? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, I couldn't remember. Couldn't remember if we had or not. Well, let's take one of those right now. What is this? Lumberjack gloves? Okay. Alright. Where's my dog? I just realized he's been missing for a while. <laughs> Um, okay. What I'm going to do is go back over here and let's just put a few things in here because if we're going to do a little bit of parkour here, I don't want to be encumbered. I'll come back and pick that stuff up later. All right. So can I get up here like this. I could if we would have taken some points in parkour. Oh, I just screwed myself going that way too, didn't I? All right. In that case, what we will do is we will pick up this. Oh, no, we don't need to do that. I got blocks. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Okay, so we'll get back up to here. Uh, Can I reach this from here? I can. But we need to get up there because it's the principle of the thing. Okay, we're going to have to... See, the thing is, though, is if I... If I legit tried to parkour this without these blocks, I don't think I'd be able to get up here um, normally, right? Uh, at least not without some serious parkour skill. Um, okay. Let's get rid of this. See if there's anything up in here. Nope. Alright, let's go up this way. that. Oh man, I hope this damn thing doesn't collapse on me. We went to all that trouble for $10 make you holla. Okay. It was, like I said, it was the principle of the thing, right? Okay. Uh, Nick? Okay, guys. Well, we did not um, we did not find a distiller here, but we got a lot of good resources. Uh, concrete being chief among them, and that's going to really help us continue working on our base. So I am not going to complain, not at all. We did pretty good overall. Um, can I? Yowzers! <laughs> I'm really heavy, so that's why I wasn't sure. I can make that jump. That was close too. Uh, I would like that concrete as well. We jump down there. Is something going to attack us? Probably. So far, so good.
There's another cement mixer down there. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, let's go this way. Since we're in here, might as well grab this. Oh, there's a safe. But we're not gonna... We got a new one. San Francinto. Nice. Let's try it. I I actually have that one on my um, normal rebirth playthrough. San Francinto. Let's grab this. And let's just break this open. Won't take too long. Can we use that? All right, cool. Hmm. Can I jump onto here? Yep. And we're down. This is, uh, oh, downtown apartments. Yeah, no, we're not going in there. But we are going to grab this. And we're going to grab ourselves another cement mixer. Because we can. Check this. Grab these. I'd pick up those body bags if I was a witch doctor. Oh. Fuck. Where'd that come from? I don't know. Let's go. I'm like seriously encumbered, so I don't want to be messing around with anything right now. Okay, well, I, I don't think it's really worth our time now to keep searching for a distiller. I think... We go do that quest and just get it. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's sell some things and see if we can raise enough money to buy that uh, quest. Uh, let's, let's refuel here. If not, I can always go out and wrench a few more cars and stuff. So but we might have enough cash with all this stuff here. Um, Let's go... Uh, special missions. I don't remember seeing that before. What, has that been there before? Oh, maybe he's telling me. Okay, hold on. Before we read that, let's let's sell. Ah, uh, let's see. I got those. We'll sell all of this here. I already have one of those. I see no reason to have two, so we'll sell that. All of this is extra stuff. I'm glad. Um. Oh, okay. Never mind. He doesn't want that either. Okay. They, um, that gets us enough money. Okay. So what does he have to say about this? Zombie putty schematic. I can show you how to walk amongst the undead for a short period of time. They might approach you, but won't be able to smell you. Gather up a few ingredients and I'll give you the recipe for what we call zombie putty. You never know. It might come in handy. Okay. That's kind of like, um, um, the guts episode from The Walking Dead, right? You're gonna smear your guts all over yourself and then they won't detect you. I'm not too fond of that idea, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay, let's sell this. Sell this. And then we wanna buy hazard. Yes. By completing this mission, you will be rewarded with the following blueprint. Alright, um, before we start this. What was the key that I can use to call the mercenary to help me? I don't remember because I've never had to use him yet. Insert. Okay, so if this thing becomes more than we can handle, um, we got to hit the insert key. Gotcha. Alright. So, oh, you know what? I should... I should probably repair my, at least my chest piece before we do this. Um, we've got three medical kits. I, I have no idea what's going to happen. I, I've got explosives and molotovs if we need them. 
Um, let's go back to the base, get our armor repaired, make sure we have as much ammo as possible, and then we'll give this a try. Let's also make... Uh, we're actually in pretty decent shape on food, but let's make uh, the tamale hash and maybe... How many of these in total? 40? Oh, shit. No, we don't need that many. Let's um, maybe make five more of those. We have some of these here, too. Okay, for ammo, we already have 50 more rounds there. Let's make those. Um, I wonder if we should repair this. Yeah, I mean, I, I normally I'd let it run down some more, but I do not know what to expect from this quest, so we don't want our weapon to break right in the middle of whatever the fuck's going to happen to us. You know it's not going to be good, right? Uh, we also can do the Twinkie for the Rage thing, uh, Rampage thingy. I believe what that does is it gives us... Um, like double damage. Yeah, look at all that concrete. That is beautiful. All right, I'm going to keep all of this stuff in here. Let's put the Twinkies down there for quick access. And... Oh, we've got, we have a Rage Capsule. Hey, we, we should maybe think about popping that, too. I don't think that's... I think this is different. Because the Twinkies are Rampage. And I believe what that does is it gives us double damage. Whereas this is different. This is um, stamina regen, attack speed, mobility, jump strength, and resistance to ailments. And this, is, this quest uh, or mission is called Hazard. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's make at least one of those two. Yeah, this is really the only one we, we need to repair right now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you over here just so I can get to you quickly if I need you. And maybe we'll move those over there. And if I have the presence of mind to do so, mind, we should probably pop one of those too, just, just, just because. Right? Just because. Now, the one thing I don't have is water. So we could pop, just pop a vitamin right before we leave and drink those three. And then, let's see, what does that give us? That gives us... 15 so that'll give us 45 water which will get us very close in fact here let's just make another one four of those will get us all the way up yeah so we'll do that oh we'll get a little bit of hydration from this too won't we uh, well only five okay it's not a ton Okay, that should get our food all the way topped off. Let's go here. Repair this. All right. So what we'll do is we'll go to the quest site. We'll pop a vitamin, drink the water and start it and just see what happens. If we get in trouble, we've got Twinkies, we got Rage, and we can press Insert to have a mercenary come and help us. God help us. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, the whole, you know, robotic, invisible, ghostly snake thing was so off the wall and so unexpected that I don't even know what to think about what this one's going to be like. Um... All right, well, let's go ahead and read the book. The Trader Network's farmers have reported slight, uh, are citing large groups of wanderers in hazmat suits. These wanderers seem to be testing some of their experiments on the community. We suspect that they are spreading some sort of hazardous gas, and they need you to get rid of the threat. By killing their leader, 
you will find the following item blueprint. Okay. So we definitely want to take a vitamin. Um, I don't know if a vitamin's going to help us against hazardous gas, but it'll certainly help us, you know, against infection, which the hazmat guys typically have a higher chance of giving you. So let's head on over there and see what happens. Is this uh, part of that fort? I don't know. Probably not. All right, so we need to kill their leader. Let's pop the vitamin. Let's throw back the boiled waters. Oh, we should pop a beer as well. Let's move that over to here so we have quick access to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here goes nothing. Shut your pile. There's something out there. Oh, God. I didn't know those guys were on me right away. Okay, here. Twinkie. Double damage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, shit. He's right there. Oh, my God. That's a lot of dudes. Oh, shit. Okay, here. Help me, mercenary. Where'd it go? What the actual... What? Where did all these guys come from? Did we get a horde in the middle of this? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, shit. Okay, here. Let's take this pill. Now I'm pissed. <laughs> oh, shit. And now I'm going to die, too. Okay, you know what? We're not fucking around anymore. <laughs> Take a beer. Oh, this is insane. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, did... Are all these other zombies supposed to be here? Because if they are, Ramsey, what the actual fuck, dude? If they're not, did we just have the bad luck of getting a wandering horde come in all of a sudden? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we've got to... We've got to make something happen here. That guy is still not dead. He's been knocked down, though. Okay, let's take another beer. That's what you do in situations like this. You drink a beer. And then everything will be fine. Hey, stay away from me. You ugly. Oh my god. Alright, let's take one of these. Nick, you're on your own, buddy. I'm sorry, but <laughs> this is a bit much right now. Oh my god! I can't believe that guy's still alive! What the fuck? Okay, we gotta kill the guy in the white shirt too, because he's buffing these guys.
Okay. Okay, we got rid of all the ads. Now it's just this guy. We're doing double damage. We did it! Holy shit! <laughs> Give me that book! <laughs> oh, man! Wow! I... Uh, the question that I have is... Was that extra horde supposed to show up or was it just supposed to be the hazmat guys? Because, oh my god, if we would not have had Molotovs, there's no way we could have done this. I mean, I don't know how we could have done Well, I mean, I, wouldn't, I shouldn't say no way. We might have been able to kite them and eventually kill the buffers, but still, good lord almighty. That was tough. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Not in the least surprised. Just, I don't know. Uh, what's the word? I'm I'm glad it's over. Let's put it that way. <laughs> All right, let's read this son of a bitch, man. We had to work hard for your ass. There we go. Now we can make the distiller. Yeah, yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we need to wrap up this episode here. Oh, boy, that was something else, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so we're going to wrap up the episode here. And... We're going to we're going to make the distiller and I'll just show you for anybody that's curious. Uh yeah, it, this is all it takes. Oh, uh, oh wait, did we get Did we loot a gas stovetop at the hardware store? I don't remember. I hope we did cuz if we didn't, then we're going to have to find one of those. Okay. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to make this if I have a gas stovetop. If I don't, we're going to, you know, then we can't until we find one. But it's really not that expensive to make otherwise, you know, if you look at all the other materials. I think I have one of those. If not, we can, you know, uh, in fact, there might have even been one back at the, the Joe Bros place. Whew, okay, that was intense. All right, guys, well, I'm going to let you go here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did... Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Just about gave me a fucking heart attack, man. <laughs>